Have you ever wondered what the difference is between an assessed value and a market value? Stick around as we're gonna talk about this right after this little intro. Hey, my name is Jared Chamberlain and I am with the Chamberlain Real Estate Group here in Calgary, Alberta. And we are talking today about assessed value versus market value. If you're finding a lot of uh, value in the videos that we produce and the content, we'd really enjoy it if you subscribe and get notified of when we sh shoot new videos and, and publish new videos, because uh, we are here to help you figure out and navigate this crazy real estate world that we are in. And so today we are talking about assessed values versus market values. So what is the difference between an assessed value and a market value? Well, let's start with assessed values first, all right? So an assessed value can come in multiple ways. An assessed value can come to you uh, via an assessment, hence the word assessed value, <laughs> uh, can come to you in terms of an assessment. So this can be an appraiser, it could be city value. Uh, these are different ways that you can get uh, an, a value on your property. A city assessment is done every year uh, by the city and it mainly, it doesn't really tell you what the true value of your home is. What it does is it ties it to um, essentially what you're gonna pay in taxes. So that is kind of what a city assessment is. An appraised value is a little bit different than your city assessment. An appraised value is essentially a third party and they go through a couple different ways. There's a comparison approach, there's the breakdown, uh, like rebuild cost approach. There's different approaches that an appraiser is gonna take on your home to say, here's what the assessment or the assessed value of your home is. A lot of times this is done uh, when, let's say you're going through a divorce, you need a third party uh, to come to the table that's not you know, hired by anyone, it's just hired by the, uh, you know, the party, like the lawyers, let's say. Uh, it could be done from the bank perspective. So if a bank wants to ensure a value is there in a home that they're lending to, they might hire an appraiser. And, um, and so that, that can happen that way. So uh, an appraiser usually takes, you know, a couple comparables, pluses and minuses things. You know, this one has that, this one doesn't, and what is the value of it? And that's kind of how they come up with values that way. Now, on the other hand, what is market value? Well, market value is essentially what is a different owner, a new owner, a buyer willing to pay for your home in its current condition in today's market, okay? So that is what market value is. And so that value is going to get pushed around and increased or decreased based on what's happening in the market. And so there's a couple things that we are always looking for at, like in our team. And one of those things is the months of inventory. And what months of inventory is, is how long is it taking for a home in a certain price range and neighborhood, how long is it gonna take it to sell? And so that's one quick little thing that we're looking for is what is that number? Because if you have, you can be in a seller's, a balanced or a buyer's market. So anything below two and a half months of inventory is we, we say it's a seller's market. Anything between two and a half and four is about a balanced. Anything above four is more of a buyer's market. If you're in an acreage, those numbers are much different. Um, we can have that conversation later if you need it. Uh, but that's, that's what we're looking for is the months of inventory. And then I mean, the other way that buyers kind of push uh, or numbers or values can get pushed around for market value is supply and demand. It's just actually another way of saying months of inventory. But uh, to explain supply and demand, if supply is low and demand is high, most likely we're going to see a lower months of inventory, right? So we're going to be in a seller's market. If you've got high uh, supply and low demand, well, we're going to see the opposite. We're going to see uh, lots of options for a few buyers as they're looking, right? And so it's just kind of a, it's a game that it happens in the market. Uh, supply, demand, where is it all at? And, and that can really push around uh, a value of a home to help it understand and determine 
uh, where that value lands. So if you are in the market and you are thinking of selling, the thing that you want to do to really understand where the market's at is give us a call, give us an email, give us an email. I already have an email. How about you send me an email? <laughs> send us an email at info at chamberlaingroup.ca and ask us to set you up on a home beat. And a home beat is going to help you understand the market value. You can easily go to the city's website um, and, and get an assessed value, the city assessment, anything like that, but it's not gonna totally tell you where the market's at for your home. What you want is a home beat. So ask us to set you up on that. When any of the Chamberlain agents here has that tool um, or just email us in if you don't have anyone specific that you're working with on our team, uh, but just in, email in, in info at chamberlaingroup.ca or give us a call at 587-316-5400 and we'll get you set up on a home beat that is going to allow you to understand where the market's at for your home. So that is what I have for you today and I hope this helps you understand assessed value versus market value. Gives you a little bit of insight on the two different terms uh, because many times when we walk into a listing presentation or a conversation with someone, uh, the conversation or the, the topic of assessed value, here's what a city assessed my home at, does come up. And so um, hopefully this helps you understand that and tells you why we always say the city assessed value really doesn't have a ton of importance in terms of what a buyer is willing to pay for your house. So there you go. That's what we have. We'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, leave a comment below. If you're watching live, put live. If you're watching replay, put replay. If you made it to this long in the video, appreciate it. And you definitely need to comment now. All right, we'll see you guys later.